Hey everybody and welcome back to another One Everything Wednesday's replacement series, the Patron Pile Edition series. That's right, we've got another box of mystery booster packs. Hello, hi. You see me? Hello, hi. Hello everyone. Um, say hello to my camera as well. There it is, my camera and my microphone. Don't forget the microphone, it's important as well. Um, but we're going to be getting into this. We're going to be opening up three packs this week. If you're unfamiliar with the series, we take everything that we open that is a dollar or more and we add it to the patron pile, which is a pile of cards that get given away to our patrons. Anyone at one of my magic tiers or higher gets a pull from the pile every month after their first month of being a patron. That's basically how it works. So we crack open a fresh box. We get three packs out. We put this off to the side and the reason we do three at a time is just so that we can make sure that we're adding stuff to the pile every week um generally speaking if you've missed my one of everything series the way it worked is we did one of every pack from stores in and around my area in uh, the ontario region of canada and uh we would buy one of every pack they had available and show them off and uh take the same thing anything over a dollar we would put it into the patron pile um, because of the pandemic and lockdown and all that good stuff, uh, it's been a lot harder to get out to stores to sort of show that off. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. We got a uh, Wooburg order. So we've got a Blessed Spirits and a Survive the Night, followed by Prodigal Sorcerer. Lab Maniac, there you go. So there's a hit in the Wooburg order. We'll take that. That's over a dollar for sure. Uh, we've got Recover. We've got Cackling Imp. we got Colagon Storm Singer. Ingot Chewer. Cultivate. Now, Cultivate, I don't think is over a dollar anymore, mainly because it's seen a whole bunch of reprints, like, within the last year, um, be it in Mystical Archive, be it in product like this. We'll put it down to the side just in case, but I don't think it's over a dollar. Uh, but anyway, drawn as Emissary as our multicolor card. Then we have a Colas card, and this one is a Crumbling Necropolis. These Trilands are tough. Some of them are over a dollar, some of them aren't. I'm going to put this down to the side, and of course the price will have come up in the top right corner if we were correct to put it down there. We've got a Wild Nakatl as our M15 or older card from this pack. I don't think that's over a dollar anymore. And a Green Belt Rampager. This is a card that I thought was going to see a ton of play when it first got spoiled. Because, I mean, a 3-4 for one mana, yeah, it bounces. Uh, but when it comes into play, it gives you an energy. The thing for me is, like... You basically, you can use it as a way to generate energy throughout the entire game. Do you see what I'm saying? As long as you don't have the two energy to pay, you can always generate the energy, right? Which is kind of interesting. And it's a one drop. So, I mean, like, it doesn't take up a lot. Anyway, not really worth anything. Anyway, our foil for the pack is Nizumi Shortfang, uh, which is turning into the Stab Whisker the Odious. So the uh, some of the original flip cards from Champions of Kamigawa. A little foil there. That's pretty nice. Don't know if it has a price tag. I'm going to guess it does just because it's one of the original flip cards and it is a legendary creature. Um, so let's see. Uh, Encircling Fisher. So our rare slots were kind of like mediocre from that pack. Cliffside Lookout. Uh, River Wheel Aerialists. But we did get a sweet uh, Lab Maniac and a Cultivate and a Crumbling Necropolis, which could all be you know, decent. Dark Ritual. Now, this just saw a reprint in the Mystical Archive as well. Could be over a dollar still. Don't know. I think it, it never, never really was over a dollar prior to the reprint in Mystical Archive, but maybe it's seeing a resurgence now. I don't know. Faithless Looting, of course, being banned, so, you know, it's not worth over a dollar anymore. Erratic Explosion. Elvish Visionary. Woolly Loxodon. Our multicolor card is a Raging Sword Tooth, And our colorless card is a Simic Locket. Uh, notably, not as good as the Signets, of course, right? Because they cost three instead of two. And then, yeah, you can pay four to sack them and draw two cards. But the Signets were like pay three to draw a card, I think it was. Um, and because they were only two mana to play, they were just a little bit better. Um, and anyway, we got the Elixir, Elixir of Immortality in our M15 or older slot. Great little card. Solid little uh, recursion of your graveyard, right? Great way to put everything back into your library. And then we've got a Nin the Pain Artist as our rare. I actually don't think I've ever seen this card come out of this slot, out of all of the boxes of mystery boosters I've opened. So that's kind of interesting. I have no idea what whether the price on this one is. But uh, anyway, we've got a Blighted Agent. Oil. I mean, who doesn't like Infect that's unblockable, right? 
I guess the people that you're poisoning. That's probably the people that don't like it. That's my guess. That's my guess. <laughs> Next pack, last pack for the week. Uh, Adanto Vanguard, Village Bell Ringer, Tandem Lookout, Wind Strider, Costly Plunder, Vessel of Malignity, Cosmotronic Wave. I won a lot of games with that card in uh, the guilds. Uh, set Stormblood Berserker, Elvish Warrior, Time to Feed, Soul Manipulation as our multicolor card. So again, we're kind of whiffing in the Wooberg order here. And our colorless card is a Swift Water Cliffs, which is, you know, this is just the Brubbins, Cons Lands. Here you go. Our M15 or older card is from Visions, though, which is a Dragon Mask, which is kind of cool. Just an old school you know reprint which is really neat all right well then there you go we got a uh, Eureka, the tiger shadow uh very good commander solid little hit right here for sure and our foil oh foil sark on the mad that's pretty cool i didn't realize again another card that i haven't seen out of all the boxes we've opened of this so far and this is why these boxes are so cool right to me is that there is so much stuff that you can get out of these boxes that you may not have seen and you could open you know 10 or 15 boxes of this and you may not even see all the cards right i mean like look at mo a uh, mo uh you know had to get a, a carrion feeder from me from this set to complete his collection of the set 1600 cards right he completed it but he needed an uncommon because he hadn't he didn't open a, a single carrion feeder out of all the packs he opened to get all the other cards. So anyway, Sark on the Mad Foil, very cool. Who doesn't like Foil Planeswalkers, right? Not too shabby. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I have been your host, Mr. Rivers. The prices will have come up in the top right corner, hopefully, throughout the video. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.